Two disaster certified search dogs from West Michigan were deployed to Florida this week to assist in the search. Local law enforcement like the Michigan State Police use these dogs nearly every day. 13 on your side's Nate Belt shows us how they work side by side with their handlers. That is the sound of a dog on the job. Mm -hmm. You see he gets really excited when he sees his harness because he wants to go to work. Meet Dexter. Well, he just turned four, a German Shepherd from Germany. Search dogs like Dexter are used more often than you may think. I covered about uh, 1,300 miles in my patrol car from uh, down in Niles all the way up to Sault Ste. Marie last week. Let's go find him. Because of their extraordinary noses. He does things that we can never do with, with us. There's not technology. Technology fails. It breaks down. In cases like the building collapse in Florida, they can find people deep below the rubble. And we're talking down to the minute. I mean, a single drop of blood is the threshold that he's trained to. And depending on the situation, a dog may be trained to search for different things. One situation may require looking for a living person, another retrieving a body. Dexter is trained to find human remains, while his companion, Jager, uh, who is also a German Shepherd, and we would use him to find uh, live people, uh, more of an air scent. Once the dogs track down something like the old bone Dexter's looking for right now, they'll give a command back to their handler to let them know. A Dexter will give us a sit. Good boy. Good. So he doesn't get rewarded if he leaves there. So I can tell him, check here. Dexter, check here. Good. Trooper Joe Bozek says that work that nobody else can do is invaluable. We have one, one success and you see a family like finally be able to start the grieving process when a loved one's recovered, uh, that's worth it. Um, so I don't know how you put a, really put a price tag on that. Oh, you've been playing. In Grand Rapids, Nate Belt, 13 on your side.